come back to the channel. For today's video, let's look at a fun math question that we'll be trying to solve without the calculator. And hopefully we can do it under a minute. Let's go ahead and begin. We're trying to work out the difference between this expression that is contained within the square root and the fraction of 1 over 2023. So by just taking a look at this question, we realize that, that we need to do something about the square root. And the only thing to deal with the square root is to turn whatever that's inside the bracket into a perfect square so that the square and the square root itself can cancel each other. When I study the expression within the square root, I notice the 2 plus sign and I notice that we are given 1 plus the square of 2022. So let me go ahead and try to use this. I'm going to write 1 plus 2022 square, which is equal to 1 plus 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2022 plus 2022 square. From here, I notice that 1 and 2022 square is already contained within the expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this into the into the square root and to keep things in perspective, let me use the red color. So what I have is 1 plus 2 multiplied by 2022 plus 2022 square and from here, I notice that this part and this part is originally found in the expression and this is the new thing that we have introduced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a minus 2 times 2022 just to balance things out. From here, the remaining part of the expression remains the same which is plus 2022 square over 2023 square and let's not forget the fraction outside of the square root, which is 1 over 2,023. As you may have noticed, the red color portion here will be converted to 1 plus 2,022 square minus 2 times 2,022 plus 2022 over 2023 square the whole thing is within a square root and minus the fraction of 1 over 2023 we have solved the first part of the puzzle but what remains is how do we convert this part right here into a perfect square and if we take a closer look we notice the minus sign in the middle so maybe we can do something along the lines of a minus b square. From there, we are going to try to let the square and the square root cancel each other. Let, how, how do we go about doing that? We know that a minus b bracket square can be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. And conveniently, if you look at our expression, we have our a square here and our b square here. But the thing is, how do we convert the middle part into 2ab? And we can do that by just simply multiplying this with the fraction of 2023 over 2023. Of course, this fraction is equal to 1. And if you multiply something by 1, you have not changed it in any way. So from here, I'm going to write the red color bracket as 2023 square minus 2 times 2023 multiplied by 2022 over 2023. And this two red color part is the fraction that we have introduced. And the back part obviously remains the same. I still have 2022 over 2023 square. Let's not forget our square root. And let's not forget our fraction at the back. And just like that, we have our a square, our 2ab 
and our B square. In other words, we have been successful in our mission to convert this into a perfect square. So let me go ahead and write this out. So now this becomes 2023 minus 2022 over 2023 square. And now we can make use of the fact that this, and this square and the square root is going to cancel each other. And we can deal with the fraction at the back. So now what I have is 2023 minus 2022 over 2023 minus 1 over 2023. Let's go ahead and put a bracket. I have 2023 minus 2022 plus 1 over 2023, which is equal to 2023 minus 1 that's equal to 2022 that's the final answer to today's question i thank you for taking the time to watch this video have a good day take care